The idea behind Once Upon a Night in Mayfair was to create a magical childlike adventure in the heart of the West End in a pop-up environment for one night only. And so we came up with this idea of having a fairy tale adventure, a bit like Lion and the Witch in the Wardrobe, in which our guests would enter into a world beyond the wardrobe that would be magical and full of discovery and adventure, and perhaps a little naughty as well. arrive this evening we will be serving a 2000 vintage Laurent Perrier champagne, a blackberry martini, coupled with that a slightly more masculine uh, old-fashioned cocktail served over a globe of ice. We've created 10 beautiful bespoke dresses for the girls which are made from antique satins and taffetas with lovely organza flowers. Very drapey, full and fantastical. And as for the boys, they will be in midnight blue tuxedos with sage green taffeta ties and adorned with gold fob watches. The invitation design itself began with thinking about this fairy tale notion, but equally we wanted to step away from the fairy tale book. We've done quite a few of those in the past, and we wanted it to be more about the reveal and the theatre that you're going to experience on the night. <laughs> we are known usually and primarily as the design of an event with flowers. This event, we're using less flowers than usual. We're, we're, we're doing something which we enjoy very much, and that's being creative with natural products. And we are making things that, that are art and sculpture, as opposed to just arrangements of flowers. There will be floral elements as well. On the bars, after a lot of thought, we decided that they should look rather like uh, wonderful banqueting tables. So we're going to make two very sculptural floral arrangements to sit on that, which will incorporate the chandeliers above them. So far we've had 40 guys in here for the last two days since the early hours, uh, helping all the other suppliers with their kit, get set up and get loaded. Um, and obviously they'll be returning for the D-Rig at the end of the show and strip it out as quickly and efficiently as safely as possible. <laughs> 